Hey everyone, um, just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys quick. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, and it's been a while since I've done an update. Um, kind of took some time off from social media, not kind of unintentionally on purpose. Um, just got a whole bunch of stuff kind of all bottled up, and it's hard to keep doing video when you're running wide open with uh, the full-time job and trying to do the cart shop, so, and uh, getting the Dakota Cart Tour put together. Um, so I kind of I took a little time off doing media. I'm going to start back up on it. I've got some new things I want to try. I'm going to try and post some stuff live, do more live events. You're going to see me really, really strong on Instagram um, coming up here in the coming months. Um, just about everything's going to get run through Instagram or Facebook. Um, and then the Facebook will kind of be a secondary. A lot of the pictures are going to probably be fed over from Instagram is how we're going to set it up. Um, some, of them, some of them will post native, but if we can... Um, to try and help speed things along so I'm not posting three four times a day which is tough um, to post on all sites three four times a day is what I should say is the tough part um, but otherwise going ahead um, we've been rolling tires we've been building go-karts been getting carts ready for um, for this coming weekend Saturday night is the tour race in Jamestown um, you're gonna to want to be there if you're running for tour points. And if you're not running for tour points, if you're, you know, you could be running, you could end up third, and still get a trophy, still get some money out of this deal. Um, if you're 100 points back, you could still get up in there. So it's worth your time. It's worth your while. Um, don't count yourself out just yet. Um, going, to, going, looking for as far as product this weekend. I've got one shipment that hasn't showed up yet, um, and that's some of the gears, some of the some of the hard parts, um, I'm not sure where it's at. Um, I gotta try and find the UPS tracking number and hopefully get an email from my supplier for that. But otherwise, we are built up on Southern Comfort. We have Bite in a Can, we have Purple, we have a little bit of blue left and a little bit of red left, but Bite in a Can is back in stock. It's gonna be fast, fast track for Bite in a Can this weekend, especially for the tour race. That Saturday night it's going to be a hard, flat, fast track, um, so be ready for it. Um, we'll be there. We'll be. I'll be set up. We'll have the DMA trailer there, um, ready to assist you, help you out, um, whatever we can do. Um, the more turnout we can get for this, the better. So let's keep pushing it, guys. Um, we appreciate every single one of you that's making an effort, uh, coming and running and helping support, helping us show car count. Um, it's that's what means the world to us seeing that the carts really want to turn out for this and we can make a run at and make a pretty big event out of this deal so um car tour racers thank you thank you for coming thank you for everything that you guys are doing all the volunteers that we're getting from the parents this is it's helping us out a lot this year is going a hundred times smoother there's still a lot of things we're going to improve for year three but year two has gone a hundred times smoother than we would have ever imagined um as far as the cart shop goes, cart shop stuff that we're working on, we're gonna push our platinum dealership, we're gonna push our phantom dealership a little bit harder. Um, I'm working on getting some more support for you guys as far as more uh, tuning videos, more uh, chassis setup stuff. A lot more of that stuff's probably gonna come after this weekend, after the tour race. I can get really dive into it and we'll do some setup stuff, we'll do some setup work, um, kind of record it. Um, I'll see if I can get some cart, um, some outside carts, some, you know, just some different carts, some Ultra Maxes, some other stuff to kind of show you guys what to do on those. Um, I don't know the, I'm not the, the gospel as far as all setup goes. I just have the setup kind of figured out for Jamestown Fargo. We're getting Aberdeen nailed down. Um, we're getting some different stuff nailed down. So it's, these are tried and true setups. These are good starting points. You might you might set this in the cart in your in your driver depending on how big he is. If he's not the same size as me, because most of these setups are tested on on me in my cart. If he's not the same size as me, you got to adjust a little bit. You're gonna probably have to adjust the gearing a little bit accordingly. Um, I mean, certain you know different things are gonna be kind of uh, per fit for you guys. So be kind of watching for that stuff. We're gonna. Um, Definitely try and get you some more setup stuff. Get you guys some more information out there. Um, we're back. Blog post is going to get updated. Um, as far as 
social media content. Most of you guys have been talking to me, um, phone, text, messenger, whatever, um, which is great. I, we're still, we never, we didn't go out of business. We didn't stop selling parts. We didn't back off. We just got really, really focused, really, really busy in the shop. And I got to a point where it's just, it didn't pay to keep the phone in my hand um, because I had so much work backed up. So now that we're caught up um, to an extent, we have, we have the Winter Quest racing cart in the shop. We're getting him tuned up and ready to go for a race weekend. We've got tires on the roller. Um, we've got motors that we're working on. We've got those all rebuilt. Um, hate to say it, guys, but if you were waiting to the end of the year to jump on that, uh, that 2016 TG3 right there, uh, my old house cart, I got to say it's sold. Um, we're going to get a 2017 ordered here. Um, actually be a 2018 is the one we're gonna go after but that one sold um, so sorry guys snooze you lose we had a guy jump on it um, for his his little guy and they're gonna run nationals next year with it um, that cart there is the sister cart to this to Brant Winterquist's cart um, both really fast carts in both Jamestown and Fargo um, I can post some links to some videos if you wanted to see proof of them um, otherwise we do still have that cart this is our rental cart slash starter cart. I'll let, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up and I'll put it in the trailer and I'll let it go for real cheap. Um, I'll even, I'll donate a flathead in on it if you want. Um, you see all the chemical we got in now. We got tires on the back burner back there. We got some Dunlops that we're getting ready to go for Monday. We've got some Maxis that we're getting ready to go there. Um, so yeah, all in all, we're running around. We're getting stuff kind of buttoned up. We got some new Maxis in stock on hand. Um, that's what I've got left. I've got some in the trailer yet. So if you're looking for new Maxis, uh, for the dirt, for the upcoming Max Daddy race, um, that's a clone race. You can't run a 206 there, but the Max Daddy race is a clone race, um, down in Brookings. Um, also the South Dakota cart championships, um, state championships is also in Brookings, South Dakota. I am fairly for certain we're running down there. We won't run a tour race. Um, down there, we just there's just not enough time to get everything set up um, for that weekend. Um, and I still haven't heard back from the from the track uh, president or promoter um, to get a confirm a confirmation if we can or cannot run there. So instead of trying to slam and jam and try and get something turned around for a week and get you guys down there this weekend to a race in Jamestown on Saturday night, come. August 19th is the final tour race in Fargo as scheduled. Um, nothing has changed there. We're going to start that one real early so we can get you guys in, out, out of there before the heat gets in. Um, try and keep you guys cool and not let you guys burn up. So um, we can do the awards presentation then or we're kicking around doing a banquet. But we will let you know as soon as we know what we're going to do. I mean, if we do the awards there that night, it'll be just like last year. We'll add up the points, cut, dry, be out of there. Um, if we do an awards banquet, we will get you guys the information. We'll get you registration for it. If you can't make it and you end up scoring for a trophy, um, we'll coordinate with you somehow and get you guys a trophy, get your trophy or get your, um, uh, money to you. However we can. Um, otherwise we're going to keep plowing forward. I'm getting excited for this weekend. I'm glad to be glad to start picking up the phone again, start doing some recording, start doing some videos. This is going to be a longer one just because kind of my, Hey, I'm back video, but, uh, Otherwise, looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend. Um, hope you guys are working hard. Hope you guys are getting your carts ready because the tour is going to be going to be fast. Be ready. This track, from the pictures and the videos I've seen, and the way that track was set up to be for the first tour race, do not expect anything less. If you guys have heard the history of oh, it's just a rough, rutted up uh, prairie trail, don't believe it. Don't buy into it. The track is going to be smooth. Um, I can call out a few people. I know a few people you can talk to who raced on it last weekend and know just how smooth that track is now. Done a lot of work in Jamestown at Buffalo City Karting and it is an awesome track. So be ready. We'll see you guys there.